Well, over in Washington, there is a debate being had about extending the nation's debt ceiling and what exactly all that means to you, the taxpayer, who's footing the bill for all of this. Joining us now to talk about the latest in this is new Congresswoman Nikki Bazinski. She is the Congresswoman for the 13th Congressional District. Uh, Congresswoman, thanks for taking time with us. Congratulations. We haven't talked since you uh, uh, have been sworn in after that week delay of uh, Republicans debating a new speaker. Uh, but uh, welcome in, and hopefully we can connect more on these issues uh, as, as you uh, continue on with this two-year term. So let's get right to it. Uh, the debt ceiling, where do you stand on this? Well, I think, first of all, let me say it's great to be with you, Greg. It's great to be on your show. Good morning to your listeners. Um, This is a serious situation. You know, as you alluded to when I first come into Congress, one of the things that is typically pretty pro forma is electing a new speaker. We have a new majority in the House, which is a Republican-controlled House, albeit by a very narrow five seats. And when we're looking at the debt ceiling debate, one of the things that I think is pretty concerning is kind of how we started out our first week. We couldn't get to the business of just electing a pretty, uh, which is a pretty basic thing, a new speaker. So what I am concerned about is the ability to really tackle the issue of the debt ceiling in a bipartisan way, something I'm very committed to doing. Um, And why this is so serious is we can't allow our government to default. We can allow an economy which is still um, finally stabilizing in some ways. We're looking at how inflation is in some ways kind of coming down a little bit. But the fragility of our economy cannot stand um, to be held hostage by a debt ceiling debate that could put our economy in a free fall and really hurt working people. Um, And so I will tell you, Greg, I am committed to working again on a bipartisan basis to help this new Republican majority tackle the issue. But we do need to make sure that we don't default on our loans and we don't um, allow for a government shutdown. Congresswoman, we got to this point by uh, continued spending, right? I mean, you you don't overspend and then not run into these issues. Uh, How do you control that if we just continue to increase the amount that we're spending and the debt ceiling? Look, I take a very critical eye to our spending, um, and I do think that as a newly elected member to Congress, I want to be a good steward of our taxpayers' dollars. I think that's incredibly important. But I also think making sure that our economy uh, remains strong and solvent and supporting working people, um, I'm very concerned about what I'm hearing um, coming out of some elements of the Republican caucus, which is across the board cuts. Uh, when I hear things like, quote unquote, entitlement programs is something uh, that could be potentially as a part of this debate. And what that means is, you know, potential cuts to Social Security and Medicare. I won't stand for that. Um, those are hard earned uh, programs and dollars that people have been paying into those programs their entire careers and expect to have them when they retire. These are the types of issues that I refuse to allow to be held hostage in this debate. Um, I think we need to take a step back. We should be looking at our spending. We should be looking at how we're spending taxpayer dollars. I want to be a part of those conversations. But this future upcoming debt ceiling debate is really about making sure that our economy can stay the course um, and we're supporting working people. Um, And so that is what we need to be tackling so that we can, um, you know, look ahead to some of the bigger issues. Like, for example, I know we talked briefly about the farm bill. Some of these things are going to be really supporting communities throughout central and southern Illinois. Congresswoman Nikki Bazinski with us here on WMAY talking about what's going on in Congress with the uh, debt ceiling uh, debate that's being had. And uh, again, Congresswoman, uh, you know, the idea of increasing the debt ceiling, uh, I don't I don't know how if you do that, you're able to get control of spending. Uh, So for those out there listening, saying, well, you know what, too bad. Uh, Default on the debt, the the country shouldn't have been spending out of control anyways. What do you say to those who uh, have that sentiment? I think that's very dangerous. I think that will lead our economy into a free fall. Um, Like I mentioned, we are finally getting to a place where inflation is somewhat stabilizing. It's still incredibly too high but it's stabilizing. Uh, We are seeing things like everyday expenses as it relates to gas prices are stabilizing. What we don't need is to drive this economy off a cliff, which I am very concerned um, about some elements potentially of the Republican caucus looking to do. 
um, and holding programs that support working people like Social Security and Medicare potentially hostage in this debate. Um, we need to find real solutions to tackling our spending. I agree with that, Greg. But I think we need to make sure that we don't do that um, at the risk of a free fall in our economy right now that we would be um, have a really difficult time recovering from. Congresswoman, uh, we'll definitely want to connect again in the future to talk about the farm bill. I don't think we will get to that today, but something else you're looking forward to after this debt ceiling debate is hashed out, uh, mm-hmm. committees and what kind of committee work is going to be done. Of course, with the uh, Republican majority in the House, they're going to be looking at investigating the Biden administration. They're going to be looking at uh, mm-hmm. investigating the origins of COVID and a whole host of other things. Uh, where do you stand and what kind of committees are you looking to take part in? Well, let me just say, I think people in the 13th district are looking for me to get to the work of the people and to get things done. And one of the things, one of the committees I'm very interested in being a part of uh, because of that is the House Agriculture Committee. Um, the Farm Bill comes up once only five years. Uh, this year is going to be um, a reauthorization year of the Farm Bill. I've been doing a lot of meetings in the district, just met with the Farm Bureau Um, A couple of days ago, I've been meeting with farmers and other constituents that have an interest in the farm bill. Um, I think that is a bill that is going to have real deliverables for the communities throughout central and southern Illinois. I really hope I can be a part of the negotiations on a bipartisan basis of that bill. Um, I'll need a seat on the House Agriculture Committee to do that. And so I hope that I'll get news uh, sometime soon that I'll have a seat at that table. Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski, uh, let's definitely connect again soon. I know you are busy, 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 but uh, always good to, to hear what uh, the Congress people for this area are doing over in Washington, D.C. Be safe, and we'll talk again soon, all right? Thanks, Greg. Take care. You too. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News.